Hey guys and welcome to another under 5 minute reviews and today we are doing Pokemon Adventures Volume 5 So first the non-spoiler part of this <coughs> The quality of the book is just as good In fact this might be my favourite one so far Even though there isn't too much of red in it The art is better I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's improved. It's it's just a refinement that comes. That's been that you can see, for most mangas. You know, as they age, they change in looks or they get refined just to look crisper, sharper. You know, they just they just look better, and this definitely looks really pretty. Yeah. So, uh, if you if you're not looking for spoilers. This continues the same quality as the other ones in terms of story. And the artwork is the same as well. So a definite must get. If you're new to the series, I'll put links to the previous uh, volumes. But the whole series is magnificent at the very least until volume 5 so far. So must, must get. <coughs> now let's get down to a bit of the... Spoilerifics because if you watched the previous video, then you know shit was about to happen. This first fight, oh boy, like Brock brings out his mighty Onyx. You think she's brought brought out an Onyx as well? It does look odd, and the bam, it's a Steelix, and Brock loses. Oh, what the hell? Show the way, Brock loss. It's magnificent. <laughs> it really is. All the fight, all the all the gym leader battles were really fun. They were really good. They were really cool. I'm not gonna mess around with that. But uh, I gotta say, I'm just trying to flip through here to get to my favorite one because blues. Like gym battle was awesome, and the reason for this is quite simple, really. He's really taken to what the Viridian gym was. Like he he finds this book that Giovanni left behind that talks about like how to basically make your ground type Pokemon. Be God mode. And he fucking goes for it. And his fight was really cool. Because the other guy, which was his master, using a whole bunch of Pokemon. And he sticks to his one freaking ride on. And he wrecks it. And yeah. The other thing I love, guys, Blaine. Like, Blaine continued to be a freaking badass. Like, what he's willing to sacrifice for Mewtwo is freaking awesome. Uh, just love the guy. Like, he's just brilliant. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, all the, you know, it kind of comes to fruition. Um, the whole kind of arc, you realize that... You know, Team Rocket, onto the Elite Four, you know, it's all been around certain, you know, the main heroes. And it all gets fleshed out, it all gets explained, and it's really freaking cool. Red, I have to tell you guys though, when Red appears, it's always magnificent. Always. His entrance into this was so freaking epic like it's it's like something of a movie but like, honestly it, it's that good i'm just slipping through this just to keep you guys just to show you kind of you know what's in here but there's some there's like some scenes in here that i wish i could just like make wallpapers out of you know but yeah 
Um, the final volume of this, guys, is uh, Ruby and Sapphire. I have to say, not that big a fan of Ruby. Um, just not. Sapphire, though, she's legit magnificent. Like, she is fucking amazing. Seriously looking forward to the next one. Please. These books, they are worth it. You won't regret it.